Hey, my name is Roman. I'm a realtor here in Evergreen, the beautiful Evergreen, San Jose, California. This is my hometown. I was born and raised here. So what I wanted to do for you guys today is kind of give you an inside scoop of Evergreen, San Jose, California, show you the high school, some monuments, some great spots, and what you can expect if you're ever thinking about moving to Evergreen, California. Um, let's check it out. Evergreen, San Jose. We got some great people waiting for you. Cheers. Hey, I'm here at Evergreen Valley High School with Virginia Yentra, the activities director, one of the coolest people that I know. Virginia, why should people come here? What's cool about Evergreen Valley High School? Um, what's cool about Evergreen Valley High School? Basically, the most important piece of this school is the kids. This, this is a really strong community. The families love, love their kids. They love their school. And Not very many you know, discipline issues. No, your, your child is safe here. I'm going to bring my own daughter here in a few years when she gets old enough we just it, it's a safe school it's a happy school we have over a hundred clubs for kids to be involved in sports activities that's what I do I've been the activities director for seven years um, we're working really hard on positive intervention and welcoming students in so that they're not uh, you know getting off step at the beginning of the year Huge, so, uh, very high percentage rate of graduates. How many non-grads? Huge. Uh, it was a 98% grad rate this wow. year. Super grad rate. All of our kids going on somewhere. Lots of them doing amazing things. Very um, cool. I was a uh, first graduating class. Let me boast myself. 2005. Amazing school. Highly recommend. Easily one of the best high schools in San Jose. And we got this insane mural here that I love. Go Cougars. What does ROAR stand for again? So uh, this mural was actually designed and painted by my students, my leadership class. Nice. And you'll see a couple of those around campus. We work hard on that kind of thing. But So ROAR is our, our mantra. It's what we are the center of what EV is. And it's respect your community, own your actions, act with integrity, and reach your potential. And we try to live that every day, um, build that into what we do here, and it, it has really become an important piece of what Evie is. Thank you so much for shaping our leaders. You're the best, Virginia, and I mean it. He's <laughs> always been there for us, super active in the community. Uh, thank you so much, Virginia. Thank you for taking the time with us today. Very cool of you. You're very welcome. Awesome. I'm here with Osh Carla, former San Jose City Council member, uh, now working hard for us at the state capitol. I want you to introduce yourself, Osh. Sure, I'm Osh Carla, California State Assembly member, representing about half of San Jose, including downtown, all the way here to Evergreen. And Osh, uh, why would people move to San Jose? Could you tell us a little more about that? Look, I've been living here for about 40 years. And in the last four decades, this place has changed from a very small, sleepy town to a very vibrant city that's one of the most diverse big cities in the country. Just a few miles away, we have downtown San Jose, uh, which is the urban core for Silicon Valley. There are festivals and activities and restaurants, and it's really an exciting downtown uh, in the Bay Area. But just a few miles away, we're here in Evergreen, which is a beautiful, quiet, safe community with great schools. So San Jose offers the best of both worlds where you can have that safe community that you want to raise a family in. And at the same time, if you want to get away and go to a downtown uh, restaurant, uh, but go to a festival, it's just a few minutes away as well uh, in our downtown. Well, what an honor and privilege to have Ash take time as busy schedule to hang out with us, educate us a little bit more about San Jose and why people should move here. Ash, thank you so much. I know you got to run. Yeah. Now you got probably 30 more activities today. <laughs> yeah, well, well we no, really it's a pleasure. It's taking the time. It's a pleasure to be here. I really look forward to many wonderful families coming and joining us here in San Jose. Amazing. Ash, Carla, ladies and gentlemen, Osh, Carla, to be correct. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we're done with our second stop with Mr. Ash Carlo, it's awesome to have him stop by. I want to stop and take a minute. You can hear these waterfalls behind me of how beautiful and peaceful San Jose Gordelada is. And educate you guys a little bit about the Gordelada. It's a huge part of the community. So Sikhism is the fifth largest religion in the world, completely based on equality. They're monotheistic. They believe that God is one. Uh, kind of uh, in the higher area of the Evergreen community. I highly recommend uh, everyone check it out. Everyone is welcome. They feed hundreds of people. 
day, really their mantra is love all, feed all, and it's totally based on equality. I recommend you guys check it out. Religion based in Northwest India, and I myself am Sikh as well, but a huge part and one of the most beautiful parts about the Evergreen community. Um, and looking forward to checking out Evergreen Village Square now. I think you guys will really like this. Let's do it. So I'm here at Emotion Wellness, my buddy Don's place, amazing place in Evergreen, one of the premier gyms in Evergreen. I'm here with Jane, Jane is also a partner uh, with Don, and, and tell me a little bit more about this amazing place, Emotion. So um, Emotion Wellness, if you can see, it's a uh, it's a small gym, but it packs a big punch. Um, we do, we have a lot to offer. We have you know our programs here uh, range from a Keep Fit uh, program, which is month to month, and then we have um, you know a 12 and 24 month uh, personal program. training but we specialize in personal training we got group training we utilize not only this footprint but the footprint out there so we do a lot of uh, personal training out in the field as well as uh, corporate uh, program all this beautiful, that we beautiful. do as well Jane was telling me earlier before you got in this you lost how many I lost 105 pounds on the program that uh, Don put together so Don being the, the founder of this, this establishment I came in here about three months ago and acquired a partnership with him based on my journey with Dawn in personal training. So it took about 14 months, but 105 pounds later, and being able to par partner with him, I found my passion. Wow. So it's it's something that I've got to share and pay forward. So, sure. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Well, thank you, Jane, for hanging out with us. Check out Emotion Wellness. Great place for you guys in Evergreen, and so close to the residential area for you guys to pop in and pop out. Uh, very lucky to have us. Thank you, Jane. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Appreciate it. Emotion Thanks. Wellness. Yes. So this is one of my favorite interviews today. I'm here with my dad, Tony Nahal. He's a uh, he's the owner, uh, as well as myself here at Evergreen Village Square, um, right next to the In Motion that we just introduced you to here in Evergreen, Evergreen Village Square. What year? What year you became franchisee? I became a franchisee in 2011. Dad's been since 1991. <coughs> so and uh, how long you been in Subway now, Dad? 26 years. Yeah, 26 years, and um, on Capital and Aborn was where Dad kind of started off and had his first subway. Um, anything else about yourself, Dad? Why should people come out here to Evergreen? Hi, everybody. My name is Tony Nahal, and uh, I opened this location back here in Evergreen in 2013. It's a great location, very nice people, very good community around here. And myself, I've been in uh, subway business from last 26 years almost. Uh, my first store was in 1991 on Capital Express from Airborne. And I have uh, various stores in San Jose, Sunnyvale, uh, drive through uh, location in Gilroy also. Right. And uh, we're doing great. And uh, it's my son, Roman Nahal. He's also a franchise. So uh, I think uh, you get an. Uh, 2011, yeah. 2011, six years back. You can see where I get my and swagger from. He's partially uh, on this one too. Yep. Yep. And yep. he's doing great. I'm proud of it. He's working very hard in the business marketing and uh, uh, community service in this area. Amazing. So Thank I you. hope uh, everybody uh, like this location. I uh, welcome you to come here. Thank awesome. you. Check it out. Subway Evergreen Village Square. Thank you so much, Dad. So now that you've seen some of the amazing businesses of Evergreen Village Square, now we are here at one of my favorite places. This is the heart of Evergreen Village Square. Every Wednesday and Saturday, there's a farmer's market for you guys from 9 to 1. Also, check out evergreenvillagesquare.com. That'll give you a list of activities. Always something amazing going on here, whether it's wine and art. We even throw up a big screen sometimes for uh, movies nights with the kids. So a beautiful place. Uh, you'll see a shot in a second of the Evergreen Library, which is a, a very popular library, brand new, less than three years old, and just a great place for the community, surrounded in a circle um, of other businesses for you guys, including Walmart for your local grocery shopping, as well as this beautiful farmer's market. Sour. Sour leaves? Yes. How do you My name's Denise Belial. I'm the owner of Evergreen Coffee Company, and I've been a resident of Evergreen since 1994. I have two kids that went to middle school, Cedar Grove, Cedar Grove, 
And she went. Wimby I just, and I just learned. She, I just learned she uh, was actually in the same classroom as Steve Jobs. Yes. Uh, and pretty amazing uh, at Homestead, right? Homestead High School. Know. So Denise, why? Uh, so my whole goal here is, is why are green? Why should somebody move here? Uh, and your experience been great so far. Great. Evergreen is just a wonderful bedroom community. Very diverse, wonderful people, wonderful business, wonderful feeling of community. The coffee shop is kind of a meeting place for everyone yep. that lives in this part of Evergreen. And I feel very fortunate to have lived here for as long as I have and have made it my home and I've never regretted a minute. Amazing, and check out Evergreen Coffee. Uh, as you can see, we'll, we'll go to some uh, of the interior that you guys will see in a second, but a great place to lounge get a cup of coffee, hang out, great meeting spot before you go to the farmer's market, which is on Wednesdays and Saturdays from nine to one. I wanna, I wanna thank uh, uh, Denise, Wednesdays and Sundays, I'm sorry. I wanna thank Denise for taking the time out from her busy schedule to check this out, hang out with us. But the heart of Evergreen, right? Evergreen Village Square with Denise, the owner of Evergreen Coffee. Great. Awesome, Denise, thank you so thank much. Thank you. So this is Kathy Horton. I call her mama number two. Uh, my best friend's mom. We're here at the lake in Evergreen. Um, who knows better? Uh, she's raised all of us. This is her home is my home away from home that you guys will see in a second. And uh, I'm so grateful that she stopped by and hang out, hang out with her. On the blue, just knocked on her door. Um, and Kathy, just to sum it, what, what advice would you give to any moms uh, you know, thinking about moving to Evergreen or whether or not it's right for the kids. You raised four great ones. I think it's good. I think it's a good community to raise a family, and uh, I'm sure my family would agree. Uh, good school system. I feel safe. My kids always felt safe. So um, those are the two most important things. Right. And then the biggest thing you said was that you were looking for was just kind of a relaxed activity place that felt like home. We're close to Silicon Valley, but yet. People are walking outside. Yeah. Um, sense of community. Sense of community. Yeah. And we saw the farmer's market, Evergreen Village Square. Um, kind of has, and the biggest thing of the schools, elementary school, Quimby Oak, yeah. uh, which we'll also see. It's an amazing middle school, and Evergreen's been great too. So how blessed are we um, to hang out in an amazing town. And my second mom and have people like this that I've been annoying since seventh grade. So. Kathy Horton, thank you so much for stopping by. Give me a huge hug. This is, this is mama number two. Um, and this is known as the Man Made Lake. Uh, we're around Lakeside Drive in Evergreen, San Jose, California. Here we are at Quimby Oak Middle School home of the Lobos, a middle school I highly recommend. So Evergreen's uh, middle schools are busy Shibuya Middle School and Quimby. Uh, and Quimby, ask anyone in San Jose, is one of the best middle schools, always highly ranked. In 2013, at API ranking of ninth in the state. And just an amazing public middle school, great sports programs as well, um, and a very safe environment uh, for your children to learn and grow and innovate. Uh, check out Quimby Oaks homepage for their Learn and Innovation program. Uh, they've been a California Distinguished School in 2013, and most recently in 2015 received a Gold Ribbon Award. Um, I know the, the president, Mr. Philip Bond, personally, um, shout out to Phil if you're watching this, uh, as well as so many great uh, coaches and, uh, for example, the wrestling program um, has 10 straight league championships uh, and, and has county qualifiers all the time but a very diverse a great school somewhere I went in 2001 uh, but just one of the uh, many pinnacles of the evergreen community